so glad that you came today, Mission Central. And just tell me more about how um, we were able to help you with the flood bucket. Um, I used to live on Susquehanna Road right by the flood, and when the flood happened, we around four o'clock in the morning, we were. My mom came into my room and told me, get some clothes and get out because water's up. And, but when the we, when the flood left, we were inside and tons of our, a bunch of our friends brought over some happy kits for us. And it's, it was awesome because there were mops, there was some stuff to clean the dishes that we had. So that, that you were able to receive one of these flood bucket kits from, from Mission Central through our hub system. Did you tell me it came from the Agape Hub, is that? I think so. You didn't think that's where it came from. And what was the name of the town again? Catawissa, Pennsylvania. Catawissa, Pennsylvania. Okay, so it's just north here. We always go through there to go to Canobus, but uh, Yeah. <laughs> so, and you were telling me, um, you know, a lot of times people say the bucket is the most valuable thing to sit down on it when they're having lunch, but... Uh, <laughs> You were telling me what was most valuable, valuable to you and your family. Tell me about that. My sister Tosh was sick during the time, and she really didn't. She doesn't like being cooped up, so and she wanted to be down the stair or down the house working. So we used the masks, and so that masks were really helpful to you, especially with your sister being sick. So that's wonderful to hear. I'm so glad that you were able to, to tell me about that because. It really helps us complete the circle. As you know, folks donate these, and then we hand them out, and then it's great to talk to somebody that was really blessed by that. So thank you, and we continue to lift you in prayer as you and your family recover. Thanks so much. Thank you. Tell me where these birthing kids are going to tell you again. These are going to go to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, they're going to a hospital called Sandala. And the reason they're going, and I'm so excited about it, is that we've just trained 300 midwives. And they're each going to get a set of kits so that when they go out to take care of the kids and the women who are giving birth, they'll be safe, the babies will be safe. And I'm yeah. excited. So these, these are birthing kits that will help help your midwives. Absolutely. And, and so tell me again, your ministry work, you're going to work in the condo and you're doing AIDS education. And uh, how has Mr. Central been able to help you? Well, you guys are helping ministry? supply a lot of our hospitals. We just sent the container to Uganda, and that had some items from you guys. Um, you just gave us some hospital beds. Those will also go to end up going to Uganda. Um, you guys have just been able to complement what we do. We do education, but we also do medical supplies, medicine, um, livelihoods, and you guys are getting right into that puzzle piece to help us give a complete help on the other side. Yeah, Can't do it alone, yeah. so thank you. And, and the exciting thing about your ministry is it's a holistic approach yes. in this education. It's not just yes. getting some aid in there and leaving. Right. You're actually giving them tools to work with. To, to become self-sustaining yeah. and to be able to not need us so we can work out of a job. Our job is to make them be able to become self-sustaining and they themselves can provide their medicine, their school fees, what they need. It's just that we're doing a little ha hands up right now yeah. for the old ones. So, yeah, Great. it's exciting. It's, it's exciting. Yeah. I can't wait to see the pictures. I'll send of photos. Get over there. I so, promise. Yes. Right. I promise. In fact, I can send you a photo today of some of the midwives that we've trained. They all came Great. out to say thank you when I was in the summer. Great. So Wonderful. this will be like Christmas for them. Wonderful. Yes. Great. So all thank right. you, Rob. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Hi, I'm Ruth Ward, and I live in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. I'm a retired United Methodist pastor, and my husband and I began volunteering here at Mission Central in 2006 when I retired. And uh, we worked in medical equipment all that time. David was a nurse, and he knew what it was or could make a great guess. I now have the privilege of sitting at the desk on Friday afternoons, Friday days, all day, and uh, answering the telephones and being able to meet people who come. I love volunteering at Mission Central. And one of the best reasons I know is because I get to see God at work. There are God moments that just fill my heart. Not too long ago, there was a man who called at 1030 in the morning, and he needed a transfer bench for a bathtub. And we didn't have one. Two hours later, a gentleman walked in with a transfer bench. 
I wasn't surprised. And it was my joy to be able to call him back and say, we have it. I keep coming back because it is the place that fills my heart and allows me to share. And I get reminded every time I come of a wonderful man whom I loved. Because there's a tree out front that is in, has been planted in his memory. And I am grateful for Mission Central for that privilege. Thank you.